my god! Look how much you cost! Ooh, sideways. My hair like this? I'm not so sure about that. Like, what do you put on your hair to go walk out, anyways? Good morning, guys. Happy. I never know what day it is. Happy Tuesday. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if it's not Tuesday, happy Monday. I'm so sorry that I'm so off. No, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I woke up to my mom call to my mom call this morning, and basically she was pissed off about the fact that she just watched me. She just watched a video that was 10 minutes long of literally me just bawling and crying and she didn't like that at all. She's like, did I tell you not to cry? And I'm like, mommy, 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 first of all, thank you for waking me up. I, I had four hours of sleep. That was amazing. Four hours of sleep. Thanks for waking me up. I only cried on I only cried and was okay uploading it because that was like my immediate reaction to him leaving. Right now I'm doing just fine. Just fine. I'm 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 Am I crying? Can you see me cry? Heck no, I'm not crying. I'm excited to go meet my brother. I'm excited. You you guys, right now my vlog just has me in it, but um, before you know it, my vlog is gonna have me and my brothers. I actually have three brothers. Um, my brother is in California and then there are two others that are in school somewhere else and they're coming over to California for, the va for vacation. So my vlog is about to be about three grown up men and one woman trying to keep everything together probably um so don't worry just come with me through this journey of moving and transitioning away from this place into california where my family is and you're gonna have a lot more fun anyways right now i'm about to make coffee um can you see me you probably can see me i hope i hope there's not like no fatty tissue up there like folding up anyways I have this powder coffee that I guess you don't really have to brew. I'm making it so I can get just a teensy bit of hyper energy because I am about to go work out, guys. Um, well, first of all, working out is very good to relieve stress. It's always been that way for me. And second of all, it just, you know, you know, you know. First, second of all, if I'm going to, if I'm going to get over things quick, I need to get myself in shape. When you work out, you feel amazing. And it's gonna like help me not like feel like any sad emotions and I feel amazing and I'm gonna look amazing oh that is disgusting that needs to go oh no oh hell no there we go let's try that again My workout pants on and I was thinking I don't look that bad for someone who doesn't work out once I start working out oh my gosh everything is gonna fall into place it's gonna be like quick quick this is Travis mess here and here and his beer cans over there as you can see although he's gone I still have to be cleaning up after him just gonna clean up a little bit because I want to put that up for, up for sale on Craigslist because I can't take that with me which is the dining table, by the way. I won't lie to you guys, right now, this, what's going on right now is feeling a lot easier than it was the first time it happened six months ago. By the way, when it happened, it was when we were not vlogging. Um, I stopped vlogging because I was unable to, and then that's when it, um, he, well, we were separated for like two months. That was the first time it happened. Um, that's why it wasn't vlogged at all. Um, but because it happened before, it seems like I've gone through this already and I already know what my mom's reaction is gonna be, I already know how supportive she is, I already know how my family and my sister told me yesterday, you're not the only one going through this, we all are, we've been here every time this happened, we've been like, oh my gosh, what do we do now, we're going through everything with you, so, because I've already gone through it, it's a lot easier, it's not the first time it's happened, so, it's actually a part of me that actually that feels relieved and glad that he left the whole last two weeks. Everything I've been hearing from him. He, went, he was echoing it earlier, but last week everything I was hearing from him was just 
I don't want you. I feel nothing for you. I don't want you around me. He would tell me I stay at work because I don't like coming home to you. And I tell him how he's making me feel. He tells me to my face, I don't care how you feel about what I'm doing. Little, I'm not like saying this to over exaggerate. Um, I'm literally telling you that this is literally what he was telling me. Literally tell, looking me in the eyes. That's why I said, how can someone with a heart do this to me? Like literally look at me and say, I don't care how you feel. I made a vow to be with you to better or worse. So that's not giving me the worst. You, let, you literally are making me feel like crap. Like little, little, like little crap. I'm not just saying crap as a word, like little crap. And every time I, every time I cried or tried to just get him to talk to me or whatever, like literally nothing came out of him. All he did was sit in front of the computer playing his gone game. I don't know how to explain it. I just felt amazingly worthless. Everything that you guys have been commenting and saying has just, it's been amazing. In, it has been amazing in helping me um, start to feel normal again i'm starting to feel like a normal woman like i don't feel like a crappy wife that has that's doing something wrong that she can't just figure out what am i doing wrong here like i just can't figure why does he hate me so much it's just it's just nice to not look at someone's eyes and just see no emotion and not see just like just dead eyes like i feel like no emotions in his eyes it's just so nice it's very nice. I will always be sad that this didn't work out. I will always, always, always be not, not, be, not because Travis, if it was anyone, I will always be unhappy that my marriage didn't work out. I wish it did. It, I wish, I wish, 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 wish it did. I would do anything to make sure it did. But where I am right now, I am so happy, so happy to not have something reinforcing and echoing to me that I'm worthless and I don't give a crap about you. I'm just so happy to be out of that. Alright guys, I am done. I ran three miles. And I burnt over 300 calories. I'm not so sure I didn't get my watch thing that, that tells me how much I burnt. I am done, like, feel amazing. I just went in to tell the lady that I'm moving out soon and I want to know what my options are. Um, like, working the lease, like, how much I have to pay. And she just gave me the paper with all the information, like, for breaking the lease. And oh my gosh. It's expensive, oh my gosh. Um, so I'm hoping that when I sell my TV and dining table and other stuff, I should have um, enough to at least pay for this so it doesn't go my credit so I can rent another place in California. Because what's the point of moving down here if I can't rent on that place because I have a bad background of, you know, breaking my list and not paying it. video because that needs to be work on like it literally needs not like I have to have it up like um oh um, yeah this my friend is the reason why my editing takes forever because this laptop is the slowest thing ever this can happen for like five minutes and I have to wait literally to make to do any editing as soon as I can, I'll be getting myself a new laptop. Oh my god! Look at what you cost! Ooh. Sideways. Sideways vlogging kind of looks good. My belly looks bigger sideways. I'm so self centered, I'm sorry. Hey friends, because you got me to 300 likes, here is my full wash day routine. You wanna hear that? Let's see. Hey friends, because you got me to 300 likes, here is my full wash day routine. Sounds good, right? Let's get editing. Finish this editing and go home. Go home like I'm at work. Kind of feels like I'm at work. Dang it.
I wish I had enough time. I just sat down editing for like um, three long hours and I didn't have enough time to finish editing. I have to leave for work. This video has has to be up tomorrow. But I have to finish early and schedule it because I, I don't know. I don't want to start giving all the full details of stuff. But it's it sucks that I can't finish it today. But after today, I have like the whole day to plan and do everything that I need to do but anyways I am off to work right now it's gonna be one in the morning when I get back so it doesn't really matter I edit my video the next day but anyways I'll see you guys in eight hours now hey guys I just got home from work so I know that because of what's going on there is no way I am going to get you guys a little bit more light there's no way i'm going to live my life without reminiscing i'm going to talk about my past i'm going to talk about the times of travis and i had together i'm going to talk about how this happened that happened how we did this he did this and i did this but i'm going to do my best not to do that not because i don't not because i think it's wrong to reminisce but because i have just realized that reminiscing and people watching me that know me um what what i have noticed ever since for the, in the past few years, I don't know, I don't want to say without, without like making certain, not like centering some certain people. But over the past few years, it seems like in my, like, in my life, not online, um, people that I know tend to quote me. Like if I say something like this on my video or not even on my, like just when we're talking in the, like a room or whatever, they tend to quote me and say, you said this. You've been lying. You're a liar. I have never been called a liar until I was introduced into... Until the last few years. I'm going to try my best to not be specific. I have not been called a liar until the last few years. One of the reasons is, is because I literally have this... I was raised Catholic. And lying in my Catholic home is a huge taboo. My mom would literally flog us, like literally beat the hell out of us if we told a lie. So lying is a huge, huge, huge taboo. Like nobody did that. Nobody in my home did that. Like it was, it would be, <laughs> if you were caught lying, that's a huge deal. Because of that way I was raised, whenever someone tends to tell me that I'm lying, it really gets to me. Not because I'm like that offended, but because I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm reminded of how my mom would react to, like, I lied? No! Like, I can remember how she reacted to that. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's go back to this and like, tell me where you saw me lying. It's a huge deal when someone quotes me and say, because they quote me in this exact sentence, therefore I'm lying. Because I'm on YouTube, everybody can watch me, not just people on here, but people in my real life watch me. Um, it happened before, they quote me on some random video that I don't even remember and say I am a liar. And not just on videos, but just in real life. So basically my point is I don't want to say, 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 and then maybe Travis goes and say something else to your friend and Travis is like, you know everybody here is Travis' friend. Travis moved me to where his family and friends are. Everybody here is his friend. It's not the first time. It was a shock the first time, but I am definitely so easily called a liar. So I don't want that at all. I don't want that at all. I'm going to reminisce, but I'm going to try not to reminisce too much on Travis' side. Um, that way, he, oh no, just not in our marriage. That way, they cannot find something to quote me on and say that I am a lying woman or lying whatever. Because that's something, it seems like it's so easy. Anyway, so yeah, I am still here. I'm still gonna vlog and talk and everything, but dude, I am not going to put too many. I'm, I am not going to talk, 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 talk of every single detail that if I misspeak, I'm called a liar. I don't want that at all. I just, I don't want that confusion. I don't want any of that. I am going to share my life, and that's it. That's it. You guys have been unbelievable, unbelievably helpful to me like last time this happened i was literally like just a shattered glass um but being because i didn't vlog i didn't talk about it i had no one to speak i feel like i didn't have anyone to speak to about it because i felt like when i spoke about it i was a liar 
Why? Because Travis was more believable. It's so nice to feel like I can speak about things after that kind of fear. It's really, it's like unbelievably helpful to me. I don't know where I'll be right now without you guys. I honestly don't know where I'll be. So you guys have been very helpful. Anyways, stop talking. I am gonna go ahead and go check me out some POF. My husband decided he doesn't want me anymore. I'm gonna go see how the, how the dating world is online. I am in no way interested. I'm like, at all, not even a little bit interested in any relationship. I'm just curious. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more of my oh I started a new season I'm gonna go by season to so join me in my journey uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys